Guizhou, Guizhou alternately Quaychou, is a landlocked province in southwest China. Its capital and largest city is Guiyang, in the central part of the province. Guizhou borders the autonomous region of Guangxi to the south, Yunnan to the west, Sichuan to the northwest, the municipality of Chongqing to the north, and Hunan to the east. The population of Guizhou stands at 34 million, ranking 19th among the provinces in China. Dian Kingdom, which inhabited the present-day area of Guizhou, was annexed by the Han Dynasty in 106 BC. Guizhou was formally made a province in 1413 during the Ming Dynasty. After the overthrow of the Qing in 1911 and following the Chinese Civil War, the Communist Party of China took refuge in Guizhou during the Long March between 1934 and 1935. After the establishment of the People's Republic of China, Mao Zedong promoted the relocation of heavy industry into inland provinces such as Guizhou, to better protect them from Soviet and American attacks. Compared to other provinces of China, Guizhou has not benefited substantially from the Chinese economic reform. Guizhou is rich in natural cultural and environmental resources. Its natural industry includes timber and forestry, and the energy and mining industries constitute an important part of its economy. Notwithstanding, Guizhou is considered a relatively poor and economically undeveloped province, with the third lowest GDP per capita in China, ahead of Gansu neighboring Yunnan. However, it is also one of China's fastest growing economies. The Chinese government is looking to develop Guizhou as a data hub. Guizhou is a mountainous province, although its higher altitudes are in the western center. It lies at the eastern end of the Yanggui Plateau. Demographically, it is one of China's most diverse provinces. Minority groups account for more than 37% of the population, including sizable populations of the Miao, Buye, Dong, Tujia and Yi peoples, who speak languages distinct from Chinese. The main language spoken in Guizhou is Southwestern Mandarin, a variety of Mandarin. Name The area was first organized as an administrative region of a Chinese empire under the Tang, when it was named Zhuzhou, Zhuzhou pronounced Qjyuw in the Middle Chinese of the period. During the Mongol-led Yuan dynasty, the character Zhu, Zhu Carpenter's Square, was changed to the more refined Gui, Gui precious or expensive. The region formally became a province in 1413, with an eponymous capital then also called Gaizhou, but now known as Giyang. Another single character abbreviation is Kian Pinyin Kian Topic History Evidence of settlement by humans during the Middle Paleolithic is indicated by stone artifacts including Lavelois pieces found during archaeological excavations at Guanyindong Cave These artifacts have been dated to approximately 170,000 to 80,000 years ago using optically stimulated luminescence methods. From around 1046 BCE to the emergence of the state of Qin, northwest Guizhou was part of the state of Shu. During the Warring States period, the Chinese state of Chu conquered the area, and control later passed to the Dian Kingdom. During the Chinese Han Dynasty 206 BCE to 220 CE, to which the Dian was tributary, Guizhou was home to the Yelling Collection of Tribes, which largely governed themselves before the Han consolidated control in the southwest and established the Lingyun Province. During the Three Kingdoms period, parts of Guizhou were governed by the Shu Han state based in Sichuan, followed by Cao Wei 220 to 265 and the Jin Dynasty 265 to 420. .During the 8th and 9th centuries in the Tang Dynasty, Chinese soldiers moved into Guizhou and married native women. Their descendants are known as Laohanren, Laohanren in contrast to new Chinese who populated Guizhou at later times. They still speak an archaic dialect. Many immigrants to Guizhou were descended from these soldiers in garrisons who married these pre Chinese women. Kublai Khan and Monkey Khan conquered the Chinese southwest in the process of defeating the Song during the Mongol invasion of China, and the newly established Yuan dynasty (1279–1368) saw the importation of Chinese Muslim administrators and settlers from Bukhara in Central Asia. It was during the following Ming dynasty, which was once again led by Han Chinese, that Guizhou was formally made a province in 1413. The Ming established many garrisons in Guizhou from which to pacify the Yao and Miao minorities during the Miao rebellions. Chinese-style agriculture flourished with the expertise of farmers from Sichuan, Hunan and its surrounding provinces into Guizhou. Wu Sangui was responsible for the ousting the Ming in Guizhou and Yunnan during the Manchu conquest of China. During the governorship general of the Qing dynasty's nobleman Ortai, the Tuzi system of indirect governance of the southwest was abolished, prompting rebellions from disenfranchised chieftains and the further centralization of government. 
After the Second Opium War, criminal triads set up shop in Guangxi and Guizhou to sell British opium. For a time, Taiping rebels took control of Guizhou, but they were ultimately suppressed by the king. Concurrently, Han Chinese soldiers moved into the Taijiang region of Guizhou, married Miao women, and their children were brought up as Miao. More unsuccessful Miao rebellions occurred during the Qing, in 1735, from 1795 to 1806 and from 1854 to 1873. After the overthrow of the Qing in 1911 and following Chinese Civil War, the Communists took refuge in Guizhou during the Long March 1934-1935. While the province was formally ruled by the Guomindang warlord Wang Jili, the Zhenyi Conference in Guizhou established Mao Zedong as the leader of the Communist Party. As the Second Sino-Japanese War pushed China's nationalist government to its southwest base of Chongqing, transportation infrastructure improved as Guizhou was linked with the Burma Road. After the end of the war, a 1949 revolution swept Mao into power, who promoted the relocation of heavy industry into inland provinces such as Guizhou, to better protect them from Soviet and American attacks. After the Chinese economic reform began in 1978, geographical factors led Guizhou to become the poorest province in China, with a GDP growth average of 9% from 1978 to 1993. Geography Guizhou is a mountainous province, although its higher altitudes are in the western center. It lies at the eastern end of the Yanggui Plateau. At 2,900 meters (9,514 feet) meters above sea level, Jukaiping is Guizhou's highest point. Guizhou has a humid subtropical climate. There are few seasonal changes. Its annual average temperature is roughly 10 to 20 degrees Celsius, with January temperatures ranging from 1 to 10 degrees Celsius and July temperatures ranging from 17 to 28 degrees Celsius. Like in China's other southwest provinces, rural areas of Guizhou suffered severe drought during spring 2010. One of China's poorest provinces, Guizhou is experiencing serious environmental problems, such as desertification and persistent water shortages. On 3–5 April 2010, China's Premier Wen Jiabao went on a three-day inspection tour in the southwest drought-affected province of Guizhou, where he met villagers and called on agricultural scientists to develop drought-resistant technologies for the area. Biodiversity. <inaudible> <inaudible> The border mountains of Guizhou, Guangxi, and Hunan have been identified as one of the eight plant diversity hotspots in China. The main ecosystem types include evergreen broad-leaved forest, coniferous and broad-leaved mixed forest, and montane elfin forest. Plant species endemic to this region include Abbey Ziyuanensis, Cathaya argyrophylla, and Ketaleria pubescens. In broad terms, the Yunnan Guizhou Plateau is one of the vertebrate diversity hotspots of China. At the level of counties, Xingyi is one of nine Chinese vertebrate diversity excluding birds hotspots. Animals only known from Guizhou include Laishan Mustache Toad, Quanquo Shui Salamander, Shui Cheng Salamander, Guizhou Salamander, and Jijin Wati Newt. Koai Lake with its surroundings is a wetland that is an important overwintering site for many birds. It is a national nature reserve and an important bird area identified by BirdLife International. Topic: Politics. Topic: Administrative divisions. Guizhou is divided into nine prefecture-level divisions, six prefecture-level cities, and three autonomous prefectures. The nine prefecture-level divisions of Guizhou are subdivided into 88 county-level divisions 14 districts, 7 county-level cities, 55 counties, and 11 autonomous counties, one special district. <laughs> <laughs> Urban areas Economy <laughs> 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 As of the mid-19th century, Guizhou exported mercury, gold, iron, lead, tobacco, incense and drugs. Guizhou is a relatively poor and economically undeveloped province, but rich in natural, cultural and environmental resources. Its nominal GDP for 2012 was 680.22 billion yuan, 107.758 billion United States dollars. Its per capita GDP of RMB 19,566, 3,100 United States dollars, is the third lowest in China. Its natural industry includes timber and forestry. Guizhou is also the third largest producer of tobacco in China, and home to the well-known brand Guizhou Tobacco. 
Other important industries in the province include energy electricity generation a large portion of which is exported to Guangzhou and other provinces, and mining, especially in coal, limestone, arsenic, gypsum, and oil shale. Guizhou's total output of coal was 118 million tons in 2008, a 7% growth from the previous year. Guizhou's export of power to Guangzhou equaled 12% of Guangzhou's total power consumption. Over the next five years Guizhou hopes to increase this by as much as 50%. Topic economic and Technological Development Zones Giyang Economic and Technological Development Zone, created in February 2000 Topic. Transportation In 2017, Sun Zhigang, the governor of Guizhou, has announced the plans to build 10,000 km of highways, 17 airports, 600 km 370 miles of inland waterways, and 4,000 km 2, miles of high-speed rail lines in three years, in an effort to boost the tourism in the province. Rail <inaudible> 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 Guizhou's rail network consists primarily of a cross formed by the Sichuan Guizhou, Guangxi Guizhou and Shanghai Kunming Railways, which intersect at the provincial capital, Giyang, near the center of the province. The Liapanshui Beiguo, Pan County West and Vaish Hongwo Railways form a rail corridor along Guizhou's western border with Yunnan. This corridor connects the Nijiang Kunming Railway, which dips into northwestern Guizhou at Vining, with the Nanning Kunming Railway, which skirts the southwestern corner of Guizhou at Xingyi. As of 2018, Shanghai Kunming High Speed Railway and Giyang Guangzhou High Speed Railway is under operational, Chengdu Giyang High Speed Railway is under construction. <laughs> Demographics In 1832, the population was estimated at 5 million. Guizhou is demographically one of China's most diverse provinces. Minority groups account for more than 37% of the population and they include Miao including Ghamu and Ahmao, Yao, Yi, Qiang, Dong, Zhuang, Buye, Bai, Tujia, Jelaro and Sui. 55.5% of the province area is designated as autonomous regions for ethnic minorities. Guizhou is the province with the highest fertility rate in China, standing at 2.19, urban 1.31, rural 2.42. Topic: <inaudible> Religion. The predominant religions in Guizhou are Chinese folk religions, Taoist traditions and Chinese Buddhism. According to surveys conducted in 2007 and 2009, 31.18% of the population believes and is involved in ancestor veneration, while 0.99% of the population identifies as Christian, decreasing from 1.13% in 2004. The reports did not give figures for other types of religion. 67.83% of the population may be either irreligious or involved in worship of nature deities, Buddhism, Confucianism, Taoism, folk religious sects, and small minorities of Muslims. There are significant ethnic minority populations the Miao and the Baiyi who traditionally follow their autochthonous religions. Topic: <coughs> Cuisine. <coughs> Guizhou is the home of the well-known Chinese liquor Mutai. Topic: <coughs> <coughs> Tourism. The province has many covered bridges, called wind and rain bridges. These were built by the Dong people. The southeastern corner of the province is known for its unique Dong minority culture. Towns such as Rongzhang, Liping, Diping, and Zhaoxing are scattered amongst the hills along the border with Guangxi. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Heritage-based tourism. The World Bank. Strategic Environmental Assessment Study – Tourism Development in the Province of Guizhou, China", May 25, 2007 points to three different forms of tourism that should be fostered and developed in Guizhou, China – nature-based, heritage-based and rural tourism. Heritage-based tourism provides ethnic minority groups with an opportunity to preserve their unique heritage while still making a living. Colleges and universities Guizhou University Guiyang. Guizhou Normal University Guiyang. Guiyang Medical University Guiyang. Guizhou Nationalities University Guiyang. 
Gaijou Institute of Technology Guiyang Zhenyi Medical College Zhenyi Mutai University Zhenyi Topic Media Gaijou Daily Topic Notable people from Gaijou Shi Jinmo 1881 to 1969 founder of medical colleges Topic See also Major national historical and cultural sites in Gaijou equals equals notes <laughs>